right, continuing with my logging winch uh, job here, I have some modifications I want to make to it. Uh, first of all, uh, I'd like to have a fair lead for the winch cable. I went on Amazon, where else, and I bought this fair lead. Uh, I'll put a link down below for, for this fair lead. Uh, normally on logging winches, they'll go over a sheave and the sheave will spin back and forth and allow the cable to go up and down. Well, I didn't have a sheave or a good way to mount it. So I was thinking I was just gonna go with this fair lead. So now I need to mount this on the winch somehow. So what I had, the idea I come up with was, I had some, uh, this is eighth uh, by an inch and a half angle iron. And I thought I'd just cut, cut a couple of pieces of this. I'll mount one on either side of the of the drawbar on the back blade, and then I bolt my fair lead to the face of these. And this will be mounted in front of the winch. Okay. Now, another thing that I was looking to do was uh, on the winch cable itself. It would be nice if I had some sort of uh, shock absorber when the winch pulls back in, so that it wouldn't come up right tight into my fair lead. So also while I was in, on Amazon, I ordered a couple of these because I can use one of these on the winch on my ATV as well, but they're just rubber bumpers. And once more, I'll put a link to these in the description below. Put it over the winch cable in back of the hook and then put these back on. So then as it's spooling in, the hook will come up against this and then this will come up against the fair lead and hopefully prevent jamming and pinching and bending of the cable. So anyways, a couple of modifications I'm going to make. So what I'm up to here this morning is I need to take this fair lead and bolt it on my pieces of angle iron here. So this is the draw bar, we're going to call it. So I have this set so that it'll go one on either side here. Uh, I don't want it sitting on top of this plate because that plate rotates. So I've got a couple of little wooden spacers just going to put under there. Then I put a clamp across here to hold it. If I bolt my fair lead on the angle iron up here and then bolt the angle iron to this drawbar, then that should sit there like that. And the cable will come off the winch out through the fair lead and go out to pull my logs. So I think that should work, eh? Kind of noisy here today. boys are still down there clearing up the brush. Okay, uh, I took some time and I marked where I need to drill my hole here. I got this all lined up, so we're going to uh, try and drill this out now. Now I like starting with a, with a smaller bit and then work my way up. Now I'll go to the bigger bit. All right, so now I'm going to bolt this fair lead now onto these brackets through these holes that we just drilled. All right, there's my spacers, so this should just slip on here now. Just like that. So I think that's gonna work all right then. Uh, now what I wanna do is lay out some two holes in either one of these angles, drill through the angles, and then I have to drill into this straw bar here on the back blade. So I've got my marks on here, hard to see, but I'm going to try and center tap them now. Now we're just going to clean these up and then we'll put the fair lead back on then we're going to put it on the back blade and locate where those holes go and then drill tap holes in the back in the back blade. We just want to make a mark here to 
be something like that. Tap drill in. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, uh, this job is uh, starting to drag on now. <laughs> I'm into the third day working on this. Anyways, we're going to try and put the winch fair lead on here today. I got I got the blade turned around now. You notice another big development. <laughs> I painted my uh, angles and I rounded over that corner just to make them look fancy. Okay, now we put the fair lead on here. So I'm going to take this top roller out. like so. So now I can put my roller back in here. Little rubber, little rubber buggy bumper. And then this just separates then and can go over the cable. work good as as a stopper right so here in the cab I have this remote and this remote is for the winch that rotates the chute on my snowblower so from the cab in the winter time I can just rotate the chute here and then that goes down here to this wire and that plugs into the feed that goes to the winch motor on the snowblower so what I could do is I could just use this controller right and uh, plug that into the winch for the logging winch and then I could operate the logging winch from here in the cab. So what I'm thinking is maybe I'll just wire this controller to operate the winch and that way I could uh, even even if I had to you know I could just stand out here beside the tractor and operate the winch. You have to get out of the tractor all the time anyways to operate the winch I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do that because I'm gonna have to get out of the tractor to put the choker on the log uh, so I could come back here to operate that. The downside of doing it this way is the door will be in the way, but I could also use this door, you know, as an emergency shelter in case the cable breaks. Uh, I'm going to run direct from the winch motor back to the plug that was in the cab of the tractor. I'm going to change the plugs. I have some more of these uh, 50 amp plugs here. And what I can do is I'm going to put one of these in the tractor. I'm going to put one of them on this set of cables that I'm going to make. And then I'll get another one and I'll put it on my uh, snowblower. So then it'll be just a matter of clicking these together. Oop, like this. 
when it comes time to, uh, you know, wire them up, whichever one you're going to use. And us, us electricians are a pretty sneaky bot, lot. I have some uh, red tape here. So what I'm going to do is put that on here just to indicate that this is the red conductor. I'm going to try and solder this on here. While well, that's cooling, <coughs> we'll prepare this wire, the blue wire, and the blue wire is going to be the black lead. So we'll put a little black tape on this fella. So this is going to be the negative lead, so on these plugs, it's marked negative and positive. So we're going to insert this. I think it's the way it goes in. That you go in and click. There it is. So that's the negative lead. Okay, so now we're going to insert this fella. There you go. You know that they're in, eh? Because they really do lock in there good. All right, so there's that cable. Uh, when I made up the... Uh, external battery connection cables for my tractor here. I made up these short little jumpers. I ended up didn't not using those. I put bigger plugs on here uh, for the ones that I used. So anyways, I had this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one in the tractor. And I'm going to try to locate it right like that. So then that 12 volt supply will be at the rear of the tractor. So, uh, I drilled one hole in here already. So I'm going to fish that through there. Bolt down through here and there, and I'll get underneath and bolt those up, and then that'll be my 12 volt connection. And then I'll just connect this end of it to the feed that comes from the controller in the cab. All right, so now I have this long cable here that we made up uh, that's going to go from the plug at the back of the tractor to the winch motor. So this is the minus terminal on the winch, and these are the minus cables. Remember, I put the black tape on there. So we'll put that on here. And we'll put the boot on it. And then the plus will go up here. All right. And then we'll put this boot on here. Uh, we just take this cable, uh, this should just plug in here, like that, and then that'll operate the winch. Okay, we're going to go try it out. Uh, the other day when I made uh, the chain that went on here, it was just a loop of chain. I didn't really like that. So I made this up, it's just a little bit of a, it's kind of like a mini choker. <laughs> but I made another loop in that, so that'll just hook on there. There it goes. So that's locked in there. So now, when I put my choker around the log, I'll just hook that on there. And then we can haul it up. This might have to be shortened, uh, but that's no problem, I can shorten that. Here's my setup. I just backed the tractor in there. I'm about, I don't know, 15 feet away. I'm going to hook onto one of these logs right here, maybe the one right next to the shelter. So what I'm going to do is pull the cable off the winch, put the choker on the log. So this is where the lead will come in handy.
All right, I'm not sure what happened, but I was pulling that out there pretty good, although it was very slow. But it got that close to the tractor, and the winch motor stopped. So I'm not sure if it's out on thermal overload or what it is. Okay, I found out what happened. When I was pulling the log, it was pulling it off the corner. It wasn't square to the tractor. So the cable was coming in on this side of the uh, fair lead. So then it all spooled up on this side of the spool. And in fact, it went off the spool and got jammed up in here. Now it won't unspool and won't spool. So I've taken it off the bracket. Because so far, it's been a disaster. We have to take it to the shop. So we're going to try and take this apart here in the shop. <laughs> so far, uh, the concept has been proven for this logging winch, but <laughs> practically, it's not working nearly as good as I'd imagined. You see, all the, the wire got twisted up outside the spool. I do have some of this old, it was, uh, I think it's called Naima rope. I had that on a winch one time. So I think I'm going to try and put this on and see what happens. So that means I have to take this off. Well, there's the result of my work. I put a Dyneema cord on here and not as much rope so it's got more shoulder on the spool here when it spools up because the last time it spooled up the cable all went in here. Eh? So. We'll go try that. I'm gonna go shorten this chain, we'll try it again. So I made it as short as I could. I, I put the uh, I put the hook right in the loop. So we're gonna try this again. So sports fans, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to pull the log right tight against the back blade, blade, and then when I raise the back blade, lift it up off the grade, off the ground like that, so that as I drive away, the butt of the log won't dig in. So that's working good. Now, my only really problem is, uh, I don't know that I have enough line on there because I just about spooled it all off to get that log, and it was only about 10 feet away, and that winch, I'm telling you, slow. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I don't have many logs to pull many, much of a distance, so it may work already. Right. So I'm gonna try this, see what happens. So we're in the tractor, we're gonna go get a log. Let's go see how this logging winch works out.
Well, I spent pretty near two days trying to gear up this uh, logging winch uh, with the fair lead and all and trying to wire it and then the cable messed up on the winch and I changed the cable. Oh yeah. Uh, it pulled a log, so as far as the original intent of what I was trying to do here, two thumbs up. Eh? It pulled the log and uh, as I made a little modification to the pulling chain, uh, it was able to pull the log right up to the back blade, then I could lift the log, the butt end of that log off the grade, off the ground, so that I could pull it with the tractor without digging in. So, as far as that goes, two thumbs up. The speed of it, the speed of it almost makes it not worthwhile, you know that? It's really too slow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is good fun doing this project, but it, it was a tough one. <laughs> it was a tough one. <laughs> Take care folks, have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.